Greetings, 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 my YouTube family all over the world. This is the one and only Patman Sena Tiraja coming back, I think after five days from my last episode, where I revealed to you guys, my little loving, beautiful community in YouTube, about the answer to entrepreneurship being a very underestimated industry called network marketing. I shared the details of it and um, I'll be sharing more information about network marketing, how it works. But I just remembered something I talked about so many times in a lot of my sessions throughout the last 23 years, speaking to people all around the world about why many people who start the first step towards entrepreneurship, especially in the network marketing industry, all right, they tend to not succeed. Okay, a lot of people claim that, oh, I tried network marketing and it didn't succeed. And you need to understand why, all right? Because there are a lot of people who succeed in network marketing. Now, the first thing you have to understand, the rules are very similar in any form of entrepreneurship. You want to succeed, you got to be driven, all right, by many things. Now, one of the greatest challenges, I believe, in the network marketing industry is that you are not under external pressure. Now, imagine if you mortgage your house, all right, sold everything you own, all right, to start a traditional business. It's going to give you sleepless nights. You're going to be reasonably under pressure from the bank calling you and saying, hey, when you're going to repay the loan or the people who you borrowed money from or whatever, okay, or your own family is going to question because you have basically risked everything to start a restaurant, a traditional business. And if it fails, all right, you're going to impact a lot of your lives around you and the future of their lives. So that's a plus point sometimes in traditional entrepreneurship that there's a lot of pressure. Now the challenge in network marketing for a couple of hundred dollars, a couple of thousand dollars, you actually become an entrepreneur. Now a lot of people are not going to lose sleep over swiping their credit card and buying some products. Okay. All right. And then if they fail, they don't feel so bad. They tell people I tried, I didn't like it, blah, 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 blah. Okay, however, that's a challenge. So when you don't have negative motivation, I know it's a contradiction of terms, but I, this is how I word it, okay? Patman Senati Raja style. In tra the traditional business world, you have negative motivation. You have pressure to repay the loan. You mortgage your house. Oh my God, what am I going to do? This is negative motivation, but it's still some form of motivation. Now in network marketing, you don't have negative motivation. Therefore, you need positive motivation. That's why in my earlier episode, all right, I spoke about the importance of having a dream, not a, a wishful thinking. I'm talking about a dream, something you're willing to fight for and die for to achieve, something that beats in your heart every single day that, that, that keeps you awake at night, guys. Okay, that kind of dream is a necessity in a journey of success in network marketing. And a lot of people participate in this entrepreneurship in network marketing without truly having a why, right? I just want to give it a try. This is not golf, guys. Guys, This is not keeping a goldfish in a bowl and calling it Jimmy. And if the fish dies, it's okay. This is a serious step in your life. And here comes the point. I believe that in life, there are two types of decisions. All of you make two types of decision throughout your journey of life. The first type of decision is what I call a small decision. Right, which you and I make thousands of it every single day. All right, should I wear a red t shirt or pink panther, pink t shirt, whatever, guys? All right, you make small decisions what to eat for lunch, where to go for the weekend. Okay, what do I do? What color do I paint the wall? Okay, and all kinds of decisions. So, you make thousands of small decisions a day, millions of decisions throughout your lifetime, which has no significant impact on your journey of life. It's either noodles or rice, guys. That's a decision. So what happens is when people start their journey as an entrepreneur, especially in the network marketing industry, they treat it as a small decision. Okay, sounds good. I'll buy a product. How much? $2,000. No problem. Swipe my card. I got the product. Now what do I do? Oh, I got to follow the system. Da, 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 da. It's a small decision. And when you treat your journey of entrepreneurship as a small decision, the chances of failure is high. 
The same way, choosing rice and noodles, the option is not going to drastically alter your life. But here, you got to make this journey of entrepreneurship a big decision. So throughout my journey of life, I've learned this. There are small decisions, there are big decisions. Now, what is a big decision? A big decision changes who you are. It changes how you live. It impacts everyone around you. All right? Some positively, some negatively. That's the reality. All right? It requires you to make great sacrifices. So I thought to myself, how many big decisions have I made in my journey of life? Now think about it. As a kid, our parents, in my case, my mom, made all the decisions for me. How my hair is, what clothes I wear, what school I go to, what, what games do I play. Ultimately, you gave away that power of decision making to your parents because you're a little kid. Okay. And what happens is you go to school, high school, and then finally you reach a point where you start to make big decisions. Like what program to choose in university, whether you be a lawyer, engineer, computer programmer, blah, 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 blah. That's a big decision because that at that point was going to decide my career path in life. So that's the first big decision I made, all right? To become a lawyer, for example. It was a big decision because I knew, okay, I'm going to be a lawyer one day. That's it. But it's going to impact my life. It's going to impact my family. It's going to impact every aspect of my life. It was a big decision. The program or the course that I chose uh, after high school uh, in uni. Second, your first job or where you choose to work. Are you going to stay in your country, travel to another country and get a job? Maybe you started working in Google, all right? Different part of life. Maybe you work in your family business, different part of life. Maybe you just applied for a regular job, different part of life, okay? That, I think, is the second big decision most of us make where we choose to park ourselves in our career growth in the job, okay? Now, the third big decision we make, and don't laugh, but it is a major big decision, is whether you choose to get married. Because it impacts you drastically, all right? You give away, all right, your individualism and now you're becoming a partner with somebody. That's a big decision in my opinion, okay? Marriage, okay? Some people say it's the stupidest decision to make in life and some people say it's the most beautiful decision to make life. I leave it to you guys, okay? And the fourth big decision would be to having kids, all right? Because the minute you have kids, your life suddenly doesn't exist. It's all about the kids, Right? You can't go here. You've got to go where the kids want to go. You've got to watch things on TV that you don't choose to watch. Like watch the movie Frozen 56 times. Okay, And stuff like that. So it alters the way you live. It requires you to make big sacrifices. Now in my life, I've made a few big decisions. Maybe three or four. And when I became an entrepreneur in the industry of network marketing 23 years ago, I treated it as a big decision in my life. And I knew the sacrifices I had to make. I knew the friends I would lose. I knew the comments I would get from my family. I knew what people would think of me if I failed, all right? And I also knew what would happen if I succeed. It was a big decision. It required great sacrifice. The first few years when I was establishing my network, all right, in this great industry called network marketing, I did not live like everyone else my age. I started out of my house at 8 in the morning. I came back at 4 in the morning. I didn't sleep. I worked and worked and worked. I grind and I, and I basically did presentation, 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 which is French for presenting the business opportunity or the products. It was a big decision. And I believe the reason why a lot of people fail in any form of entrepreneurship, and especially in the network marketing uh, arena of entrepreneurship, because they treated it they treated it like a small decision. Okay, I'm buying a product, I get an account, I refer some people, if I make it, I make it, I don't, I don't. You're setting yourself up to fail. It's like opening a restaurant and saying, okay, I'll open on Monday, but Tuesday I'm gonna watch a movie, I'm not gonna open my restaurant. Wednesday I gotta go on a date, I'm not gonna open a restaurant. You're gonna fail. So think about it. If you put all your life savings into a restaurant, all right, how many days a week would you run that restaurant seven days a week? Are you going to close at 6 p.m. or are you going to go all the way until 11 p.m.? And I always use this example, right? Let's say it's 10 p.m. your restaurant closes, you're pulling down the shutters and then you see 50 people just finish a wedding, want a place to eat. What are you going to do? 
you're going to push up the shutter. The guy is going to ask you, I thought you were closing. No, I was testing the shutter, bro. All right, please come in. You're going to fire up the kitchen. You're going to cook because it was a big decision. You, you gave away everything you own so that that business would work. Now, I just hope and pray that everyone would treat all forms of entrepreneurship as a big decision. So if you choose the network marketing industry, it's hard work. It requires you to stay open seven days a week and pay the price every single day. So my advice to you guys, after listening to all the episodes I spoke about, and when I revealed the million dollar answer that the greatest, based on my research, the greatest opportunity for entrepreneurship on this freaking planet today is network marketing. It's a proven industry. But it will only work if you make this journey of entrepreneurship in network marketing one of the big decisions in your life. It's not choosing between a blue t-shirt and a red t-shirt. It's not choosing whether to tie up your hair or let it loose. It's not deciding between rice and noodles. This is about a new chapter in your life, just like marriage, right? Just like having kids. This is a big decision. And if you make it a big decision and you recognize the fact that it's going to alter the way you live, you've got to make sacrifices, at least in the beginning, then this will work. And every success story I hear in this industry, right, in this industry, are people who made it a big decision. So if you are remotely choosing to embark on a journey of entrepreneurship in the network marketing industry, my advice to you is make it a big decision and your chances of succeeding is up there, guys. I promise you that. Love you guys. See you at the next episode.